Hello YouTube, this is Joe. Thanks for joining me. In this video, I'm going to be showing off the equipment I use to live stream, create Udemy courses, and for the videos I upload to YouTube. So several people have been asking me what kind of equipment I use, and this is a quick overview. So this is my desktop. This is custom made. I built it specifically for rendering video. And then if we move on up, I have two 1080p 27 inch LED displays. I have a Razer keyboard and mouse. And this is my newest purchase, a Blue Yeti Blackout Edition microphone. Headphones. And a laptop for producing video, for doing webcam videos and for other things. I'll explain later, I, got, I have a capture card and then an external hard drive for backing up video. And then last but not least, my iPhone for taking, for taking pictures for thumbnails. And like I said, this is a quick overview. In the rest of the video, I'll get into more details on each piece of equipment. Continuing on, so I took a few quick pictures of each piece of equipment I use, and I'll try to explain how I use this entire system to live stream, you create YouTube videos, Skillshare courses, and then finally Udemy courses. So the first piece of equipment I like to go over is my desktop computer. Now this is the most powerful computer I own and I'm not trying to brag or anything because I know people that have way better computers than this, but I built this a couple years ago basically to render video. That's all I wanted it to do and do some light gaming, I guess, on the side. So here's a picture of the case and then this is the inside. So I have a 600 watt power supply, I have eight gigs of RAM, I have a quad core i5, a dedicated graphics card, and then a solid state drive in one of the bays over here. So to look at your system specs, you can actually, if you're on Windows 10, you can go to command prompt in the search bar, and then you wanna type in msinfo32, and this will pop up your system information menu, and so I'm running Microsoft Windows 10, quad core i5, 3.4 gigahertz, eight gigs of RAM. And then if we go to individual components, let me pop this out, display. I have an AMD Radeon R9 200 series graphics card. So this is completely unnecessary. You do not need this for rendering video. You only really need this for gaming. This video card is designed for gaming. And this computer also has integrated graphics, which are part of the CPU. So you wouldn't need this graphics card as a part of a system. But like I said, I like to play video games. So, and then the one thing you wanna make sure before you decide to start doing your own courses, to start producing your own video, we are in the year 2016. 4K resolution is rapidly coming into households, but at least for the moment, you do not wanna produce any video less than 1080p, so 1920 by 1080. So if you're gonna do video production, if you're gonna create your courses, please make sure you're outputting video at 1080. It's really irritating. Don't give people any reason to complain about the quality of your production, because this is easily attainable. It's not hard to produce content in 1080p. So let's move on to the next piece of equipment. So these are my two monitors and they're in 1080p. And the reason I like to have two monitors is mainly for productivity. You can multitask much easier, but specifically for video production. So right now you can't, well, you're seeing the screen capture of the video I'm currently doing within Camtasia. But on my second monitor, I actually like to have notes. I like to have shortcuts to things. I reference things as I'm talking, as I'm communicating in the video. So that's really helpful having two monitors. So let's go over to the peripherals. I have a Razer keyboard and mouse. This is completely unnecessary. And then the headphones. You do need headphones if you're going to do video production because obviously you can't have the sound coming out of the speakers because you know, it'd be in the video and it'd be really obnoxious. But the one thing I do like about this keyboard, if I go ahead and type, if you hear that, this is a mechanical keyboard. So it's a bit louder, it has faster response rate. But I do like I do like the noise of the keys because as I'm doing things in a course, as I'm, or whatever I'm demoing in the video, 
you'll immediately know if I'm typing because it's so loud. You could not miss the sound of the keys. So I kind of like that. So let's move on. So this is my Blue Yeti microphone. This is actually my most recent addition. I was using a Snowball microphone. And then before that, I was actually using my iPhone. And the quality was horrendous on the iPhone. I was just using the earbuds and microphone that come with the iPhone. So when you're producing video, when you're doing courses, the two most important things outside of content, of course, are producing video in 1080p and with excellent sound quality. Like I said, don't give anyone a reason to complain about the substance of the content. If you're an expert in your field, if you're a creative professional, don't give anyone a reason to dislike your content based on the sound or video quality. So next we have my laptop. Now the laptop, I have a webcam built into it. I actually don't have an external webcam. That is something I need to pick up for the desktop, but I do use the webcam at times on this laptop. And then the other thing I use this laptop for is actually capturing video when I'm not signed into Windows to be able to use Camtasia. So if I'm doing, if I'm demoing an installation, so in a video I installed Linux, I actually had to use this laptop to capture video from the desktop as I was performing the installation because I wasn't able to access a screen capture recording program. So that's what I use the laptop for. And then I also use it to do things on the go, to be able to work on the go, go to coffee shops. But then I have this capture card and this is what I use in conjunction with the laptop to capture video at times when I can't use a screen capture program. And then as you saw in the previous video, I had the external hard drive. That's pretty self-explanatory. And then the iPhone for just taking pictures on the go, for taking pictures for YouTube thumbnails. So that about wraps up this video. If you would like me to go into any more detail on any of my hardware, just let me know what you'd like me to talk about in the comments of this video. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you wanna see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. And in the description, I will share my system specs. I'll share links to some of the other hardware I have. But like I said, I hope this video is helpful and I'll see you guys next time.